So for the next few episodes, we are not going to have a camera for these because it is not working and for some reason I cannot fix it. So, but anyway, let's get on with it. So in today's video, we are going to work on only allowing our player to have one jump at a time. So at the moment, if we play our game, you can see that where's our game so if you play it you can see that we can continuously jump uh, and that in, that results us going out of the scene if you just keep jumping uh, later on we will have like roofs and stuff that you can jump into that will cause you to end the level but for now we need to fix that because we don't want you to be able to double jump because then that will make the game a lot easier and you will technically just be able to stay in the air the entire time so that's not what we want so let's go ahead and do that so what we're going to do is we're going to add a check onto our player and the way we're going to do this is we are uh, the same way if you've watched in our previous series the platformer game where we added a 2d what is it called a circle to detect if we were attacking a certain object we're going to be using that same method so we're going to use a 2d overlapping circle that will eventually overlap with the ground or any object that you go and hit and once you've hit this object it will register that you've hit it and then if you're on the ground it will obviously mean that you're grounded so then you can go ahead and jump again so that's what we're going to do in today's episode it's going to be fairly quick so we might finish that and then just have a look at the artwork that we're going to use for this game but let's go and start this so first of all let me bring up this so the first thing we need to do in this episode is to add a game object to our player. So the first thing, let's go and add a, an empty game object. And this is going to be our ground checked. Ground check. And I'm just going to add a tag onto this or an icon so that we can actually see where it is. So we need to go and reposition it back down to the very bottom of our player, which is somewhere over there. It doesn't have to be exact, so for now we'll just leave it like that. And I do think oh, it is at the exact position because I think our player is uh, one unit in uh, in length. So that means half of that will be at the bottom and then the other half will be at the top. So that's fine. Now, what we have to do now is we need to go and create this function well it's not really going to be a function it's just going to be a line of code that's going to be that's going to sit in our update method and it's going to constantly check to see if we're grounded but before we do that we need to create another boolean so i'm just going to copy this and paste that there and i'm going to say is grounded like that and that's going to be equal to true at first actually we're not going to res we're not going to set that we'll set that in the probably in the update method right here. So we can go and do this before anything else gets done. So because in the update method, actually I don't actually know if this is the correct place to put it, but for now we'll put it in here. This is gonna be, it's gonna be checked every frame of the game because update is called once per frame. So therefore we will constantly be able to see if we are allowed to double jump or not. So at some point in the game, we probably might need to implement a double jump feature. But for now, because we are only starting off with the game, we're going to uh, eliminate, eliminate the ability to jump more than once. So is grounded. We, we have to do this is where we're going to be doing the, the overlapping check. So to do this, we need to access our physics. So here we can just go say is ground is, is equal to physics 2D dot overlap circle. And then, actually, we can't do this yet because we need to do a few more things. So let's go and do this first. So the reason why we can't do that is because we need to bring in a few more variables here. So what am I doing? We don't want that. We want to go back here. So to do this, we need a layer mask because we need to know which layer we are overlapping with to trigger the is grounded. It needs to be set to true. And then we also need... Uh, the object that we are overlapping with. So we added that ground check object. So that's going to be the object that we're going to use to see if we are colliding or overlapping with our ground layer. So let's go and do that. So we are going to need a serialized field. This is going to be a transform for our ground check object. So transform. And then let's just name this. What are we going to do? Let's go ground 
check object like that. That's fine. The next one is also going to be a serialized field. And this is going to be a, what is it going to be? It's going to be a layer mask. And let's just put layer mask like that. Okay, so I don't think we need that. So now, now that we've done that, now we can go and uh, get the is grounded check. So let's go and say is grounded is equal to physics 2d and like we had before physics 2d dot overlap overlap circle and then here we can introduce our what do we need first we need our point so this is going to be the ground object that we just created so ground object uh, now we need to get the position of that so we can just go and say ground check object dot position the next thing we need is a a radius so we're going to make this fairly small because it doesn't need to be that big. So let's let's start with 0.1 for now. We'll see if that works. And then the next thing we need is a what's it gonna be? It's going to be the layer mask. So let's go and say layer mask. And that should be it. So now that we've got that, let's go and fix things in the inspector. So on our player we should have two fields that we now need to fill up. So let's see, did we save that? Let's go and save that and see if they come up here. So they should come up over here. Which they don't. Why don't they come up? Let's see. Have we done this in the wrong one? Okay, so we've done this in the wrong in the wrong class. Let's just cut that out. And let's paste this in the player class. So this is supposed to be in the player class. I don't know why I did it in the in the camera class so we'll paste that over there and then in our camera class we need to get rid of this and we'll save that now because that that's fine and then we can go and put this back over here so paste that there and that should be fine now let's go back to in the unity editor here and we should see the two layer masks so here we have a layer mask and the other one is a ground checked ob object so let's go and drag in our ground check object into there and then for our layer mask we need to tick the layer we want to check to see if we're uh, overlapping with so that's going to be our ground layer you can add more than one but for now we'll just keep it as our ground layer later on we will add in our obstacles uh, that we need to that we're allowed to land on so we'll keep it like that and then let's give this a test so if we play this, we should be able to now only jump once. Okay, and no, it doesn't work. So let's go back to our code and see what's happening. So we've done, we've checked for is grounded. So that's going to update all the time, every frame. Now let's see. In our jump method here, we can go, okay, so here we haven't really done the check. So we can go and say, if we press the space bar and as long as we are grounded, so we can go and say, is grounded so if we press the spacebar and we are grounded then only we can go and make that jump so let's test this out so now we should be able to see we only can jump once so you can see that we can only jump once now so obviously you can't see it because you can't see me pressing space but i am pressing it constantly so you can see that it only allows us to jump when we are grounded so that's 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 good that's working nicely now, that's all that I had planned for this episode, but since it's too short, let's go and see where what we're going to do with the the artwork. So, I have been working on it, but I haven't really got it finished yet. So, uh, I'm busy working on some some different types of obstacles so these for so like our triangle here is obviously going to be a obstacle that you cannot collide with so if you do collide with it you die the well not, you don't die but you have to restart the level if you collide i haven't decided for this one yet if we are going to allow the player to collide with it or and restart the game or to, we probably should make it so that the player can jump on top of it because we will have different 
obstacles that you can jump onto in order to avoid oncoming different obstacles if that makes sense so these i'm just going to export this one quickly uh, and back into our what's it called back into our game file so we are done for this episode we are done with the programming aspect this is just going to be uh working on some art now so if you don't enjoy the artwork then you can leave but yeah this is just going to be the artwork part so let's go to game development where are we geometry dash and then game so this is very very weird recording this video without a camera it just doesn't feel right so anyway let's go to assets and then artwork also these are just testing so i'm just going to put this in here and this is going to be triangle and i don't think that's actually going to work because yeah that's not going to work because you can see it exports all of it so that's not going to work what i'm going to have to do is i am going to have to copy that and then let's create a new file maybe actually that's not going to work but this one okay so let's do this let's get rid of this so that it looks similar and then i want to copy this layer style i'm going to paste it onto this one so that they are both the same like that uh, and then let's see can we need to make this slightly bigger because I want it to fit in there like that this one needs to move over here so this is going to be our sprite sheet but I haven't really finished it yet so um, hopefully I'll finish it before the next episode so let's bring that like that and then that should be fine Although I don't think that's fine because okay, so I'm going to have to look for a better way to do this because clearly that's not, not working. I've never actually made a sprite sheet before because we, we are going to want to use these sprites for uh, building our tile map. So we're going to introduce on our game a, what is it, 2D rectangular tile map. So this is what it's going to look like and then using this we can go and build out the level so the same thing we did in our previous game series for the platformer we used the tiles to create a simple level uh, and then by simply selecting the tile you want and then dragging and dropping them into the scene and then also choosing our objects ob obstacles we can go and build out the level that we want so that's how we're going to do it in the next episode. Now, I don't actually know how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go and do some research into that. And then I will figure that out. And then we will start working in that. Start working with that in the next episode. So that's going to be it for today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye.